So how can we prove Avogadro's Avogadro's law according to kinetic kinetic theory of gases? Let us consider two beakers containing different gases. That is one containing let this green color represent the gas in the first beaker and the red color represent the gas in the second beaker. Let the volume of both the beakers remain the same. Pressure on both the remain both the beakers remains the same. Also the temperature. Let M1 this molecule has a mass of M1 and N1 represents the total number of molecules. M1 means mass of a molecule mass of a molecule and N means N1 means total number of total number of molecules in the beaker A or the first beaker let's call this as beaker A and let's call this as beaker B similarly mass of a molecule in the beaker B B M2 and N2 represents the total number of molecules in the beaker B now we have according to according to kinetic theory of gases the pressure exerted by a gas molecule on the beaker will be 1 by 3 rho v bar square the rho 1 is the density of the molecules in the first beaker and v1 let's this move with the velocity v1 bar or the root mean square velocity here let its velocity be v2 bar the velocity with which the molecules travel okay so this can be written as p is equal to 1 by 3 but you know density is equal to density equal to mass by volume mass by volume but you know the total mass of the molecules will be mass of a molecule into total number of molecules so m1 n1 divided by total mass will be m1 n1 divided by, by volume is v v times v bar square v1 bar square pressure in here will be similarly pressure in here will be 1 by 3 rho 1 means here pressure is equal to 1 by 3 rho 2 v2 bar square rho 2 is equal to m2 n2 divided by v times v2 bar square but you know the pressure remains constant which means 1 by 3 m1 n1 v1 bar square by volume is equal to 1 by 3 m2 n2 by v2 bar square divided by volume since we took pressure on both the containers as the same so you can cancel this 1 by 3 also the v so the final expression will be Final equation is equal to M1 N1 P1 square is equal to M2 N2 V2 square. Clear. But since the temperature on both the beakers remains the same, that is absolute temperature remains the same, we have kinetic energy of the molecules on the first beaker is equal to kinetic energy of the molecules on the second beaker because temperature is just the measure of kinetic energy which means half into kinetic energy is mass of a molecule mass of a molecule into its velocity average velocity or root mean square velocity equal to half on the second beaker it is mass m2 mass of a molecule times v2 square so you can cancel this which means m1 v1 square is equal to m2 v2 square so if you plug in the value in here you can write this as n1 
m1 v1 square is equal to n2 m2 v2 bar square. So these two remains the same. Definitely you can cancel that. Which means n1 equal to n2. So what does the Avogadro say about this? Which means at constant pressure and temperature at constant uh, pressure and temperature equal volume of different gases contains equal number of molecules clear at constant pressure and temperature equal volumes of different gases contains equal number of molecules clear